Hi, in this tutorial, we will go over how to access Rhino commands. Commands are actions or functions that perform specific operations. For example, circle is a command that helps to create and add a circle to the 3D model. Rhino allows invoking any command in many different ways using command line, toolbars, menus, or interactively through widgets, mouse, and keyboard events. The different ways to access Rhino commands means that users have the flexibility to choose the method they are most comfortable with to help increase their productivity. For more advanced access, Rhino also supports creating custom commands through macros and scripting. Each command has a name, and most commands allow setting various options within the command. Let's try to access some Rhino commands using all five different ways. The first one is the command line, which is widely used among Rhino users. You simply start typing the command name and pick from the autocomplete. The more letters you type, the shorter the list. You can use the escape key to cancel a running command or press enter to run the last command used. When run the circle command, you can see all the options in the command area and you can choose an option such as a three point to create a circle from three points. You can run the command again by right clicking on the command prompt area and selecting the circle command. This time, run it to create a circle with center and radius. You can press F2 key to see the full command history. Toolbars contain buttons that provide shortcuts to commands with various options. For example, you can go to the solid tools bar and then be able to select the box command. You can then create a box from two corners and a height. You can use a toolbar button to zoom within the extent of the viewport. To the left, you can see the circle icon. If you click on the arrow under it, you will see what we call a cascading toolbar. And it has all the different ways to create a circle. You can dock it anywhere, or you can use it from the main toolbar. The third way to access Rhino commands is through the menu bar. Each menu groups similar commands together. There are many submenus within each drop-down menu to further group similar functionality. For example, the curve menu includes curve creation and editing commands. And under the circle submenu, you see all the different ways to create a circle. Aside from the standard command line, toolbars, and menus, you can create your own custom access to increase your productivity when you use certain commands or sequence of commands quite often. The pop-up menu is accessible when you press the mouse wheel. You can think of it as your on-demand toolbar that you can add or remove buttons from or create your own custom buttons with custom macros. The context menu shows when you press the right mouse button for a second and release. You can add to it additional commands that would be readily accessible with a mouse control. Press the Add Items to this menu and it opens the Options dialog. You can add a name and type in your command. The command name with the options or series of commands is called Macros in Rhino. The exclamation mark means that you exit the previous command before running this new command. So you can type in circle and then space and then the name of the options. And this will allow you to access the circle three points with one click from the context menu. Notice that in this case, when we run the command my circle three points, you can see unknown command three points. We have misspelled the three point option as a three points with an S. 
we can correct this by accessing the option and click on the new command, press modify, and correct the spelling mistake. Now, if you run the My Circle Three Points, you can see that the option was properly selected and you can create your new circle. You can also set up a custom keyboard access. Rhino comes with a few preset keys that can be edited by the user. For example, F1 opens help, Ctrl S to save, and Ctrl Z to undo. You can find the full list under the Rhino options under keyboard section. You can also add your own keyboard command. For example, you can type the circle three point under control zero. When you press control zero in Rhino, it will run the circle three points. On the other hand, Alguesis allows setting custom command names to run. If you open options under aliases, you will see few aliases already set up by default by Rhino. You can add your own. For example, we can add C3 as a new command alias to run circle three point. From that point on, whenever you type C3, it will run the command with the correct option. The move or copy commands can be run through the command line or toolbars or menus, but you can also directly move a geometry by clicking on it and dragging. If you have the gumball open, you have a widget that can help you move the geometry in certain directions, rotate it, scale it, using the different controls within the widget. Finally, Let's create our own button that run a sequence of commands. For example, runs the circle command followed by the box command. We will add that button to the pop-up menu. Click on the wheel, then move the menu a little bit to see the margin. Right click on the margin and press add button. You can input the tooltip and under the command box, you can type your command sequence. In this case, we will type circle to run the circle command, pose and pose to help select the point and the radius, then followed by the box command. You can also add custom graphics to your buttons. Now, when you click on the button, you will see that you run the circle box command which helps you run the circle followed by the box command. This was an overview of how to access different Rhino commands using the command line, the toolbars, the menus, and how to set up keyboard shortcuts and aliases. Also, how to interactively transform your geometry and add custom sequence of commands as a button in Rhino. Thank you.